Hey everyone, did you know there are more than 11,000 species of birds on the planet? All of them have evolved unique adaptations to survive in their environments. The birds in today's video, however, all have one thing in common. They have super speed. So here are the top 15 fastest birds on Earth. Number 15. Jeer Falcon there's a lot to be said about the first bird on this list. The Jeer Falcon is a lot more than just a pretty face. This gorgeous bird is also one of the fastest in the world in terms of its ability to maintain a consistent level flight speed, reaching top speeds of at least 90 miles an hour in level flight and 150 miles an hour when they're stooping. Not only are they incredibly fast, but this bird is the largest falcon in the world. While several other birds can exceed their speed over short bursts, the Jeer Falcon can average about 50 to 68 miles an hour over remarkably long distances without slowing or stopping, which few other species can do. They're known for being large and stocky with beautiful white feathers, and when you're this big and this fast, you're at the top of the food chain. The ferocious Jeer Falcon usually hunts other birds in the open, flying high and swiftly, swooping down on their prey from above. They can also chase their prey, following them from behind quickly and low to the ground. And speaking of low to the ground, this falcon will easily scoop up squirrels and hares. It's one of the few birds that can breed along the frigid Arctic coast, too, and the official mascot for the U.S. Air Force Academy. The Jeer Falcon prefers to go at it alone until breeding season. Then they'll find a mate, remain monogamous, and return to each other every year, typically roosting on cliffs until one of them dies. Number 14. Golden Eagle One of the largest raptors in North America, the Golden Eagle, is a powerful brown bird with its recognizable golden feathers on its head and neck. While preying on rabbits, ground squirrels, and prairie dogs, the Golden Eagle dives to crazy speeds of 150 to 200 miles an hour. They make lethal use of their massive talons to snatch their prey, and have even been known to take down larger beasts like deer and livestock. The Golden Eagle is so fearsome and such an effective hunter that it was once the feared target of hunters and ranchers who cut down populations to keep their livestock safe. Thankfully though, these eagles are under the protection of the government now, but with a wingspan of 6 to 8 feet, their raw size comes at the cost of some agility and maneuverability though. They can't quite catch a particularly fast-moving bird in mid-flight, which is why they prefer killing slower prey such as a large sheep or a goat. Despite being three feet long, these eagles are tough to spot because they prefer to keep to the rugged terrain like mountains and canyons, avoiding well-populated areas or long stretches of dense forests. If you happen to see one, be careful not to take a feather. It's illegal and could result in massive fines from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. But their majesty reaches past the borders of the United States. The Golden Eagle is a national symbol of Mexico. Number 13. Gray-Headed Albatross the gray-headed albatross is one of the more unique birds that we'll see today, because this flyer spends most of its life out to sea. They've been known to roam more than 8,000 miles in search of food, only returning to land during their breeding season. With an incredibly impressive wingspan of more than 7 feet, albatrosses don't so much as fly as float along the wind to minimize flapping motion and conserve energy. This allows it to achieve a maximum flight speed of nearly 80 miles an hour, They've made it into a Guinness Book of World Records for being the fastest bird in level flight. But perhaps even more impressive is the fact that these albatross will sustain their speed for up to nine hours at a time with no rest in the extreme Arctic weather, even during storms. And despite their travel speed and the choppy waters of the sea, they can pinpoint their prey with lethal precision. They'll usually pluck their food from the ocean surface, but they're willing to literally dig deep for the bigger catches, diving up to 20 feet below the surface. The gray-headed albatross are also a huge part of folklore, with many superstitions and stories being formed around them. Many old-time sailors believed that these albatrosses were the spirits of sailors who met their fate out at sea, but carried luck along with them in this avian form to pass along to fellow seafarers. But others believe that seeing these massive birds spelled DOOM with a capital D. Number 12. Ruby-Throated Hummingbird Ruby-throated hummingbirds are tiny little birds. They're about 7.5 to 9 centimeters long and weigh less than 4 grams. But these are incredible birds to behold, with their backs and heads and iridescent green and white underparts. And while females have a dull gray throat, it's the males who are in the namesake, with their brilliant red metallic throat and a forked tail. When it comes to distance, these tiny birds can't fly fast. So why are they on this list then? Well, this bird beats its wings faster than any other. 
they can beat their wings up to 200 beats per second, significantly outdoing many other hummingbirds who clock in at about 90 beats per second. It's incredibly impressive, but don't expect to see such sights on any given day. The males save these high rates of flapping strictly for courtship. These little guys live in North and Central America, feasting on nectar and small insects. And while they avoid larger predators like raptors, blue jays, and even house cats, being able to beat their wings so quickly, the ruby-throated hummingbird is quite the acrobat. They're able to make tight hairpin turns very quickly and can even fly backward. Number 11. Eurasian Hobby Another aviary acrobat, the Eurasian hobby is so athletic that they can pass food to each other mid-flight as they're soaring through the skies. These falcons are believed to be able to reach speeds of up to 99 miles an hour, snatching up small birds and dragonflies out of the air at breakneck speeds. They prefer open woodland, heathland, and farmland, and they can be found across Africa, Asia, and Europe. They're quite the jet setters, but they're even occasionally seen on ships far out at sea and in North America as rare strays. The Eurasian hobby is a small, slender species of falcon, meaning it prefers to attack prey from above, dive bombing like an old World War II fighter plane. But perhaps the most remarkable fact about this bird is its exquisite mid-air control. They prey upon small bats, swallows, and even smaller swifts, making them faster than other birds in the raptor species. But when it comes to staying in one place, this hobby has a tough time. Instead of taking the time to build their own nests, the female will find empty nests made by other birds, such as crows, and make themselves right at home rent-free. Number 10. Spur-winged Goose One of the largest waterfowl species on the African continent and the largest goose on the planet, the spur-winged goose is one of the fastest birds in the world. But unlike predatory birds, these geese don't need to fly fast to catch their prey. They feed on simpler things like grains, fruits, aquatic plants, seeds, and stems. So then why did evolution allow these big birds to reach a top speed of about 88 miles an hour? They fly pretty far south during the winter, and getting there fast is of the utmost importance. But because these geese are so large, their only true predator is humans because of the bird's threat to crops. But ironically, the spur-winged geese will sometimes ingest toxic blister beetles, absorbing their poison, therefore making them toxic for humans to eat, which they sometimes do. Number 9. The Common Swift The Common Swift is a medium-sized bird with curved wings and a forked tail. It spends the spring and summer months in its natural breeding territories of Europe and Asia and travels to the southern part of Africa for the winter. It also just happens to be one of the fastest birds in the world. Curiously, the common swift seems to have two different modes of level flight. When it's in normal flight, it prefers to maintain a consistent speed of about 22 to 26 miles an hour. But in the breeding season, the swift seems to have a whole new gear. As it tries to court a mate, the bird can reach a maximum level flight speed of around 70 miles an hour by altering its wing profile and aerodynamic performance, even while ascending through the air. These social displays are called screaming parties because of the harsh sounds it makes while in flight. The fun doesn't stop there, because the common swift holds the record for the longest uninterrupted flight, 10 months non-stop. These birds do everything on the fly, such as eating, mating, and perhaps even snoozing a bit while in descent. Loyal creatures, the common swift will mate for life and return to the same place to nest each year, often roosting in churches and houses. So be on the lookout for love on the wing. Number 8. Canvas Back Ducks fly together. Canvasbacks are active during the day, highly social, and migrate seasonally between breeding and non-breeding ranges. They migrate in their signature loose V-shaped flocks and are one of the fastest flying ducks in the air. They can fly with an airspeed of up to 55 miles an hour and about 70 miles an hour on ground speed. They have to run along the water for some distance before they can take flight, but once they do, it's pretty amazing. Canvasbacks are efficient and powerful swimmers, too, with their legs positioned near the rear of their bodies to help propel them through the water. But despite spending so much time in the air, the canvasback may spend up to 20% of the day swimming and can dive for over 30 feet deep for 20 seconds at a time to catch a meal. These birds are both omnivorous and opportunistic. During winter and migration months, they mainly eat aquatic vegetation, like buds, roots, and tubers, and they'll easily make a meal of snails and clams for a little extra protein, too. But the canvasbacks have a whole litany of predators. Raptors and owls in the sky, large gulls in the water, and coyotes on land that prefer the taste of the canvasback. Even snapping turtles will chow down on one. 
but they are brave to the end. When a female notices a predator near her nest, she silently swims away to distract attention. If the young are hatched, the female uses a warning call so the young swim into thick vegetation. Outside of the breeding season, canvasbacks form large groups to help protect against predation, which accounts for up to 60% of duck leg mortality. I guess it's tough to be a duck. Number 7. Saker Falcon Feeding on rodents and smaller birds, saker falcons stalk the skies of Eurasia and Africa. When they have their prey in their sights, they swoop down from above, diving in for the kill at 200 miles an hour. They're striking their prey so fast that they paralyze them, making it an easy meal. It's one of the more chilling methods of attack in the animal kingdom. When in normal flight, this falcon can also achieve a maximum speed of around 93 miles an hour. This bird is so revered and so special that it's the national bird of both Mongolia and Hungary. With a nice long wingspan that can be just over four feet, the Saker falcon is known for its horizontal pursuit of prey, coming literally straight down to grab the likes of squirrels, pigeons, and occasionally beasts larger than itself in their talons. For this reason, you can find them hunting in open spaces such as the edge of the desert or grasslands near trees and cliffs. The higher, the better. When nesting, the Saker falcon finds an old nest of sticks by another bird and lays its eggs there, calling it home. Typically, females will lay three to six eggs. Sadly, though, the species is on the endangered list, with its biggest predator being us humans. Such a shame. Number 6. Ostrich All right, while fast-flying birds are incredible, I can't leave out the flightless bird. Ostriches live in flocks of anywhere from 5 to 50 big birds, and they're normally found in the company of grazing animals like antelope and zebras. The flocks tend to occupy territories of 1 to 5 square miles during the 5 months of the breeding season, but when things cool down, the birds like to keep it small, mostly living in pairs. Despite the popular myth, when an ostrich is frightened, it'll try to hide from predators not by burying its head in the ground, but by simply falling to the ground limp, essentially playing dead. But when more drastic measures need to be taken, these flightless birds book it, running 45 miles an hour through the savanna. That speed is in large part thanks to their long legs, which makes them the largest living birds on the planet. But used for more than just running incredibly fast, an ostrich's legs are so powerful that if backed into a corner, they'll deliver bone-crushing kicks to make sure the attacker never walks again. Number 5. Red-Tailed Hawk the red-tailed hawk, which can be found all over North America, from Alaska to Panama, it isn't quite the fastest flyer on this list. It can only achieve conventional flying speeds of about 20 to 40 miles an hour. That's slower than an ostrich can run. But when this hawk spots its prey, the bird will suddenly spring into action and dive down at speeds of more than 120 miles an hour. The red-tailed hawk is an opportunistic hunter that will eat almost anything, but its favorite meal appears to be rodents and other small mammals. It's able to pinpoint its prey thanks to the hawk's razor-sharp eyesight that's about eight times as powerful as our own, so it can spot a mouse in the brush from about a hundred feet away. And once those inch-and-a-half-long talons take hold, it's all over for that little mouse. It's not uncommon to see a red-tailed hawk stalking a highway or even circling above your neighborhood on the hunt for its next meal. And with a wingspan of over four feet, they make for experts at soaring. Along with its keen eyes, speediness, and large size, the red-tailed hawk is known for its raspy screech. In fact, its bird call is so popular that it's often used in TV shows and movies. Number 4. White-Throated Needle Tail The white-throated needle tail, which gets its name from the sharp, needle-like feathers at the end of the tail, is actually a species of large swift. Due to its spiky look, it was formerly known as the spine-tailed swift, and sometimes nicknamed the storm bird. Hailing from East Asia, it spends a great deal of time in the air feeding on small flying insects, eating them on the wing. It prefers to live on rocky ridges, forests, and hills, builds its nest inside cracked rocks or crags on a hillside, it's able to cling to vertical planes without a problem, and when it leaves from its perch in pursuit of its prey, it can reach a top speed of 105 miles an hour. Blink and you'll miss it. The white-throated needle tail was even known as the fastest bird for a time. Thanks to its strong and large, long wings, it's often mistaken for a bird of prey, but they prefer to coast along most of the time, eating insects in flight. And unlike these birds of prey, the needle tail doesn't nosedive. Instead, it's always flapping its wings when in motion. 
these birds enjoy pretty specific conditions, seeking out thermal currents often on the edges of brush fires or storm fronts, and have special membranes that cover and protect their eyes while feeding. Number 3. The Red-Breasted Merganser Red-Breasted Merganser is a mighty duck that lives in the cold reaches of Alaska and northern Canada, preferring to hang out in the lakes, wetlands, and marshes during the winter months, only returning to the mainland after breeding season. But these diving ducks have quite the look, easily recognizable by their bright red, sharp beak, and frazzled tuft of feathers on their head, more akin to a mohawk. In order to get into the air, they need to get off to a running start. However, they don't have much luck with running because their legs are positioned awkwardly to the rear. But once they get going, this punk rock duck flies up to 80 miles an hour. Some have been seen going even faster as long as the wind is at their back. The only catch is they can't fly this fast for too long, but they are in fact the fastest flying ducks in the world. And while their feet make them awkward runners, they are some serious divers, searching beneath the water's surface for fish, frogs, crustaceans, and even insects. Sometimes it even works with other red-breasted mergansers for its food, circling up, taking turns swimming underwater to catch a treat with its saw-shaped bill. That expert-level diving also comes in handy when running from predators, because there sure are a lot of other animals looking to turn them into duck tartare. The red-breasted merganser, they're always on the lookout for ravens, all sorts of gulls, owls, falcons, and foxes. Number 2. Magnificent Frigate Bird Living in tropical waters around the globe and nesting on offshore islands off the tropical Pacific, Western Atlantic, and South Indian Oceans, the Magnificent Frigate Bird are some of the oldest living on this list, making it to about 25 to 30 years before turning in. They're also pretty fast. Their flight muscles are so powerful that they can fly for about a week without stopping. They prefer to soar, rarely flapping their wings, but when they do, the wing beats are slow and deep. They can fly incredibly well, too, up to 95 miles an hour, but the price they pay for such speed is that they're extremely awkward on land and cannot walk. Because of this, they'll spend most of their lives in the air and will even sleep while flying. To catch their prey, they will glide toward it and swoop down, catching them mid-flight or from the water. One interesting foraging tactic is to harass other birds. If they don't feel like hunting or can't find prey, they'll bug these other birds that have already caught prey. These bothered birds, like boobies, tropical birds, and petrels, will eventually become so irritated that they'll split up their fish. The frigate bird will gladly take it. The male frigate birds are pretty tough to miss, too, with their distinctive red pouch below their beaks, which they inflate during breeding. And while the eggs and younglings make easy prey for owls, cats, rats, and even fellow frigate birds, the only real threat to adults are us humans. Number 1. Peregrine Falcon And now a king is crowned. Peregrine falcon isn't just the fastest bird in the world, they are the fastest animal on the planet. It generally flies around 40 to 60 miles an hour when it's going about its normal life. However, when the falcon is hunting, it will dive to catch its prey, reaching speeds of up to 240 miles an hour, swooping them up before they even know what hit them. So what does the fastest animal in the world eat? Well, anything from birds like doves, pigeons, shorebirds, waterfowls, and songbirds to small reptiles and mammals. Their major predators are gyre falcons, golden eagles, and large owls. But you gotta catch it first. And the coolest part about these birds is that you can find them just about anywhere in the world. But how does it go so fast? Well, the keel is the large breastbone that birds use to cut through the air, and the peregrines is especially big, which allows for more muscle attachments. And the more muscle attachments means more flapping power. And what goes up must come back down. So they reach those great heights only to pull their aerodynamic wings back, reducing drag and coming down like a bullet. Even its nostrils are adapted to tolerate the air when it dives, helping to protect its lungs from damage. And just to put that strong yet swift 240 mile an hour dive into perspective, a greyhound can reach 45 miles an hour and a cheetah 70. There's a good reason as to why the peregrine falcon has been trained to hunt for humans for centuries. I'll see you next time. Watch our Animals playlist for more Top 15 videos about animals. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best animal-related videos.